this section's about my 2002 MG ZTT 190. Um, got the car several years ago. And this part will just be a brief overview of when I'm recommissioning it. Took the car off the road mm, mid 2017. I was just in the middle of going through some issues with throat cancer. Um, well, thankfully, all resolved now. Um, so, meantime, what I had done was I'd parked the car up and basically ignored it. I had said to myself the plan was very simply to work on the car as and when. No, ignore the alloys and the space savers. It's just what's on it because my rims that I have for it, which are hairpins, need refurbished. Um, car is a true 190. It's been questioned before by people, but I have the VIN build and records and everything to prove it. I've had issues before with uh, insurance companies that didn't recognize it as a 190. Um, but thanks to the owners club, they were able to confirm all that car overall is not bad condition uh, the biggest problem that it has is it has a few issues with paint now I haven't cleaned the car but you can see here lacquer fade um, unfortunately the car has faded in parts and has some lacquer issues just in general um, the plan is currently get the car back on the road for September MOT uh, regardless of paint. Oops. And that's always good. Lock that side of the car. The car needs timing belts, which as we all know is a pretty major job. So I've decided to hold off putting the car back on the road until then. Um originally came with manual Allen Canta. You see it's been upgraded to full electric leather seats which aren't in too bad condition bar a few cracks that can be taken care of at a later date um 70 odd thousand miles oh tell a lie 83,000 miles on the car um feel like bits and pieces doubled in all that that double din's 10 years old um interior is okay just Beginning to have the uh, headlining sag issues, which seems to be very, very common in the later cars. Um, uh, sorry, in the uh, ZTTs and tours, but again, nothing dramatic. Engine's a funny old one. You can see it's been parked up with all the grass and stuff. Got the car. When I had it, I must have only had it a few weeks. Actually, tell you, I was, it was less than a day, and the clutch went. Um, clutch felt fine. Got it home, and uh, dropped the clutch, hit the floor, bang. That was me. So I had just acquired the car. I really rescued the car, to be honest. And um, that's not a disservice to the previous owner, but I had reached the stage that it was going to need a mountain two to parts. So I started into it. What I ended up doing was clutch, slave, master, etc, etc. Um, then needed a fan, the radiator was split. Um, there was issues with piping and rubbing at the back. Uh, feeler bits and pieces. Um, at the time it needed brakes, disc pads, two calipers. And obviously it came on a set of really bad tire alloys. So I had to sell them and require it, replace them. Um, so that was rims and tires as well and um, there was issues with the fueling system at the start and um, that just transpired to be diesel had been mixed in with petrol uh, at some stage full tank drain sorted that all out um how size that spider happy days no uh no bugs under the bonnet of this car no overall it's it's, it's not a bad car um very very solid underneath rear arms are original and are basically immaculate the uh, front subframe, immaculate, uh, no issues with cells or anything like that. The uh, credit or credit's due. The paint might be fantastic, but um, I've owned it for six or seven years now, and um, previous owners have uh, cleaned it. Ironically enough, I knew this car before I owned it, and there's quite a few funny stories about this car. What happened was, 
um, I used to be working around Belfast when I had my first MG ZT. Now this is going back 2008, 2009. And I remember driving into a supermarket, seeing this very car on that very registration and falling in love with it. <laughs> Left a note in the window for the owner, oh, if you would ever sell it, I'd like to buy it. But I remember seeing a disabled sticker on the car. A couple of years later, it uh, came up for sale. Didn't get the chance to buy it. Um, guy Stephen bought it. That was who I later bought it off. He drove it for about a year or so, and then I bought it off him. But um, I've since discovered that the car was originally a Charles Hurst demonstrator vehicle from Belfast. Uh, I don't know how long I had it for. I've had mixed reports about it. And unfortunately, the dealership can't really help me out anymore because obviously they've wrapped up their MG Rover business long, long ago. And with this being a 2002 vehicle, that's 18 odd plus years ago. So, yeah, so <laughs> that, that all adds to the fun. But. So anyway, I had the car, 24 hours, clutch failed, put a new clutch in within a few weeks. And then I had the car, I'd say, five months, and the engine let go. Um, issues with the oil system. Um, some run dry. Still don't know what caused it to this day. I have the old engine in the shed. I would like to rebuild it originally and put the original engine in, but I've never pulled it apart. Um, I've always said that's something I'll do when I've my degree finished in a couple of years so that'll be something to look forward to um, this actual engine came from an MG ZT saloon in Trophy Yellow also and the saloon was actually number two off the line um, a car I went to buy I missed by minutes a couple of guys on another local car form bought the car took the car uh, painted it with bumblebee stripes I'll try and find pictures of it and put it up in this video so you can see it and they took the car to the Nürburgring and when they took it around the Nürburgring and then drove to Poland and a few other places around Europe and drove back they were collecting for testicular cancer um, found out about this helped them out the best I could they raised a couple of grand had a great time and that's that got the car home parked the car up didn't know what to do with it car was wrecked I ended up getting the car I um, was going to plan to save it or store it. It was far too far gone. Um, so I just said, saw it, sent it up the road, stripped it, took this engine out of it. So I can say that this engine has been taken around the Nürburgring several times, even if the whole car hasn't. The engine itself's on about 80,000 miles as well. So it, it it's a good balance with the age of the vehicle and the age of the car. Um, the engine's very, very quiet. Um, a few things to sort out on it whenever it's being recommissioned you know it's going to be everything i mean it's going to be everything on this car um, i'm taking no chances it's going to be full front end i have front and rear brakes from mtech the uh, c hook style um, with yellow stuff pads um, it's going to be full water belts it's going to be new coil packs set up the whole lot like um, brake lines are good uh, brake hoses are good i've already been underneath and checked them rear arms are good but yeah, so that's it's a brief overview of this one. Now there's a few other additions on it as well. The cars, uh, obviously as you saw, has a twin stainless steel exhaust running the full length of it. Um, now that's from the manifold back. <laughs> there's another video in my uh, playlist there you'll be able to find of me taking this car through a tunnel in wheels. And there's also another video where you see me starting the car up and it puffs out black smoke. That was, that was a couple of days before the engine let go. Um, but so you can hear that and whenever I have it up and running again um, I'll put some videos of it noise wise but yeah it's, it's remapped by MGRNI who are a representative of Reedy Remaps and um, personally V6s can't really recommend it enough it took the whole that I always find there's a crossover issue with the Viz motors kicking in uh, took that out quite well uh, no idea what the power is. I know what the old engine made. Um, it made about 176 brake, and that was on a rolling roads about six weeks before it died as well. The old engine got a bit of a hard time, to be completely honest. Um, I always knew there was problems with it, and that's why I was glad I had the spare one. But yeah, um, overall, pretty good car. Uh, plans are, as I say, get the belts done, get the car serviced and sorted, etc. And I would like to get the paints issues corrected going into 2021 uh, that would be my ideal but yeah 
So this is the 